Car Wanju to the Buja Noich rally of protest against the mining global giant Rio Tinto, against FMG, against BHP Billiton, Gloff, and all of the other mining companies in this state that have dug holes for the past 200 years on sacred sites and have blown them to pieces by dynamite for the wealth and the privilege to get to the minerals that lay under the grounds that Aboriginal people own. The Jukin Gorge was destroyed by Rio Tinto using Section 18 of the Western Australia's Heritage Act, which allows a developer to destroy an Aboriginal site in Western Australia following approval by the Western Australia Minister for Aboriginal Affairs. On the Sunday before the opening of Reconciliation Week and Sorry Day in Australia, Rio Tinto came like a thief in the night and blasted a 50,000 year old site where human occupation was determined to exist for over 46,000 years, surpassing the last ice age. What a massive devastation to the earth, to human history and all of mankind. Within the cave's most inner sectors was found a 28,000 year old kangaroo bone sharpened into a tool, along with a 4,000 year old hair pelt and thousands of other objects highly significant. In one of the caves was found the remnants of a whole campfire pit where an ancient group of people consumed a kangaroo meal. This was an extremely important archaeological find. This is actually one of the oldest sites ever discovered where a group consumed food on this planet. The dynamite sites that blew away the Jukan Caves could be equated to the bombing of the Buddhist temples by the Taliban in Afghanistan. To if a multi-international mining company discovered a uranium posit worth billions of dollars under either the Egyptian pyramids or that of the Mayan temples, and at the darkest hour inserted dynamite into the pyramids into sanctions of the tomb of Tutankhamun and blew the pyramids off the face of the world. What type of outcry from the international communities and governments would there be? This global mining giant this global mining giant simply turned away from its ethics and responsibilities and threw them to the wind. Because here we are in 2020, where on the Sunday prior to Reconciliation Week and Sorry Day, they blew away the sacredness forever. Australia's past has been built on crimes against humanity and the government should be taken and charged in the world's war crime courts for what they have done to Aboriginal people in this country. May our campfires burn forever. And just don't give up.